I've just completed week five. I'm continuing to test my kale and my basil. You can see the contrast in the basil. This one here had a very slow start, but it looks like it's starting to grow pretty well. So I'm hoping that it's going to catch up a little bit more in the next week. In the back we have the kale. That's under the LEDs. So now down here is the T5s. And looking at the basil again, you can see a substantial difference. This is now the second type of plant in which I found signs of disease. This basil, just as the lettuce previously had shown, this basil has problems. In the back we have the kale and a lot more yellowing of the miracle Grow leaves where we've gotten some better growth on this side. So I have this one last week and then that will completely conclude this experiment. Finally, it's been six weeks since I began this experiment and I'm anxious to see what type of comparisons can be made. Here, this is what we have under the LEDs and underneath here, the T5s. Just one thing that I want to show before I remove this, I had to, a couple times, raise the level on the T5 just because of this one plant. This basil uh, would come really close to these light bulbs and actually got to the point that it was touching. And so you can see what happened uh, where it was an actual physical contact with the bulbs. You had this little bit of burning that occurred. That's not a disease that's just because of the heat from the bulbs. So before I pull these out, I just wanted to point that out. And now let's actually take a closer look and see what we have. During these last two weeks of my test, I've been focusing on the kale and the basil. And we're going to take a look at how the two mixes performed and how the two sets of LEDs performed. And it's important to properly match up the variables to be able to make accurate comparisons. So we'll do this the right way. But I've pulled all the plants and on this side here, these were grown under the LEDs. On this side here, these were grown under the T5s. So I think the best thing to do is to focus on one plant type at a time. Let's first take a look at the kale. These are all of the kale plants. Right here, LED, and over here, T5. These ones were the ones that used my mix. This is miracle Grow. These were with my mix, and these were with miracle Grow. Let's first look at how my mix performed when grown under LED lights. This is my mix. This is miracle Grow mix. Once again, miracle Grow mix. And my mix. So we definitely got better growth, I feel, by making our own uh, from our own selected components. Out of all of the miracle Grow plantings, this plant here is the best that I did get. And you'll see uh, this one, I don't know what the deal is here, but there are actually two others under the T5s that were really not that great. So I'm happy with what I got, and yet even still, at a certain point, it looks like the nutrients were starting to be depleted. Uh, perhaps this is nitrogen that's being lost. And so, kale is a pretty heavy feeder, and I think it just reached a point where um, even more supplementation would have been necessary for these to be able to continue to make noticeable growth. Now these are the guys that were under the T5 lights. You can see such a stark contrast between the mix that we made ourselves versus this stuff from miracle Grow. Uh, I was just shocked to see how absolutely horrible in both instances, uh, both samplings under the T5s that this kale did. Uh, I don't know what... I don't know how you could sell this to somebody and uh, expect them to come away happy and wanting to buy this again. 
I don't know. I, I have no explanation for how bad this is. Um, but I am definitely satisfied with the way that these turned out when they were grown under the T5s using my own stuff. What can this kale tell us about the T5s versus the LEDs? These are all grown in miracle Grow seed starting mix. These were under T5s. These were under LEDs. When you compare these to each other, you do have this one plant that was grown under an LED that actually has a little bit of some more vigorous, uh, taller growth, uh, some decent colored leaves that was here under the LED. If we were to compare that now to the T5, uh, it, this just looks pitiful. But I don't think that this really is a testament to either of these lights as to one being any better than the other. With this sample group, I'm using all of my own mix in all four of these T5's LEDs over here. And I do see some more distinctive growth patterns that I do attribute specifically to the light sources. Under the LEDs, you had a little bit more of a leggy, uh, stretched growth where you have some elongation of the stems, uh, kind of like they're trying to reach towards the light. Where here, look at how more, much more dense and uh, sticking close to the base of the plant these uh, leaves are. I think that that is specifically because of the light sources and it's consistent between both of the samples uh, when you compare LED versus T5. I do like the growth pattern that I see when the kale is grown under the T5s. I don't know if it's because it has better light dispersion, giving you better side lighting. That may be a factor. This kale is okay, but I kind of like the stuff grown under the T5 better. And now for the basil. T5s, LEDs. This is my mix. This is miracle Grow. This is my mix. This is miracle Grow. Using my mix, one of the containers hadn't germinated, but one did so I can still uh, make some actual comparisons and draw some conclusions. So let's first compare the mix results. Under the T5s I was able to get some much better results by using my own potting mix. You can see how lush, how much better this growth is. As I pointed out there is some damage caused by the leaves touching the lights under the T5, the bulbs. But otherwise, I think that this is a very healthy plant that has some nice side shoots. It you know has a bushy characteristic in its growth pattern. Um, very happy with that. And look at what we're getting using this bagged stuff from the store. So gross. Uh, the signs of disease I had started to notice those on an earlier update and now you really see how pronounced this is and just the general color is, these are just such sickly plants. I can't imagine trying to start your own seedlings in this stuff, getting results like this. I mean, how discouraged you would be if this is your first time trying it and you think this is the solution. Get this seed starting mix and you're, you'll be good to go. and. If you're turning out this kind of stuff, I mean, it's just pathetic. So, very pronounced uh, differences that we can see all under the T5 lights. Now let's look at the LED light. In general, under the LEDs, I think that the plants look very nice, very healthy. Across the board, I think that they look a little bit better. But both of these that are using my mix they turned out very well. This one had a slow start. I think that it was kind of hidden under a leaf from an adjacent plant, so it took a while for it to get going, but once I repositioned things, this really started to speed up. But these exhibit no signs of any disease. Um, I don't see quite as much bushy growth, I think, and we'll look at that more. But still, uh, this is definitely the way to go, as opposed to these. You see how yellowy they look and uh, not as much disease, fortunately, but even still under the LEDs, uh, this one plant does exhibit 
some signs of disease on the leaves. So this stuff is horrible. That is the absolute conclusion, final analysis. Do not buy Miracle Grow seed starting mix. Uh, just try to like make your own stuff. Uh, I mean, I do have the formula, the recipe that I used for this, and you can take that, do some variations, do some tests of your own, or uh, just try some other things. And you know, there may be other brands out there of bag stuff uh, that actually perform well. In which case, that's great. Go for that if that's what you want to do. But I will absolutely never buy this stuff again. Now, uh, let's also compare the LED versus the T5 just to see how those lights work with the basils. These are the T5s. These are the LEDs using the Miracle Grow. And as far as the general height of the plants, it's very close. Uh, this one might be a little bit taller, but uh, it's very comparable in the amount of uh, growth that uh, either of these light sources can produce. I was interested when looking at this, I saw a lot more of these side shoots uh, coming out of this, and this was of course under the T5, and you can even see a little bit of that starting on this plant as well under the T5, but when you look at along the stalks uh, under these LEDs, you don't see that. Uh, it's not nearly as pronounced if you do see a little bit of it on this one, uh, but not what you see under the T5. So is it something maybe because of better side lighting that you get with the T5? Is it in general just are the, the plants getting better light, getting more light because they are closer to the T5 using that the way that it's supposed to be used versus using the LED at the distance that the manufacturer recommends. In general though, I think that both of these light sources are pretty comparable to each other. So let's look at the one last sample group of basil using my mix. LEDs and T5, we see a similar growth pattern even though we have nice healthy plants, uh, much more of a deep green, uh, no deficiencies that are noticeable in the plants as far as nutrients, but still you get more of a, a tighter, bushier growth under the T5, and you see how the leaves, they just don't grow in the same way under this LED. So that's something that you could address using things like side lighting, supplemental lights uh, used in tandem, such as from CFLs, um, to really enhance this LED's ability to produce good growth. I think you could get similar results using both of these light sources, but um, some things to keep in mind, it actually costs technically a little bit less to use this T5, um, but if you have the plants very close, then you have to watch out for the heat that could be generated, uh, even to the point that it damages the plant's leaves. So keep that in mind with your T5. The LED, naturally, you actually give yourself more space. You have it elevated further above the plants. Um, and that could be a challenge. Maybe you don't have enough clearance for that. So in comparing the mixes, it's no contest. In comparing T5s and LEDs, I think that depending upon what you're trying to do, there will be reasons why you might want to use either of these. And I'm going to actually go into that to help a person that's evaluating which way to go in another video uh, to kind of spell it out and be more specific about the pros and cons of either direction. So that's my final results. I do have a time lapse showing the way things progressed during the six weeks under the LED light. And uh, that, that'll be coming up next week. But for now, I appreciate you taking the time to look at these results, and maybe there is something that you can glean from this that can help you.